Hey guys, today let's learn how to add a WhatsApp button on your Facebook page. So if you guys want to go ahead and add a WhatsApp button over onto your Facebook page so that people could quickly contact you through WhatsApp. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys step by step just how to do this. So please watch this video until the end to find out how. All right, guys, so all you need to do first is to go ahead and launch our Facebook location. And I would like you guys to go ahead and choose the specific page that you want to go ahead and add, of course, the WhatsApp button to. In this case, I'm going to choose this page right here. And then what I want you to do next is to go ahead and tap on your settings right here in the top right corners from your menu tabs. Now, once we're already here, let's go ahead and search if it is available for us to access the WhatsApp button. In this case, it's not necessarily available right through here. So what we need to basically do once we're already on here is to go back and then I want you to go ahead and access your meta business page. In this case, you could actually go ahead and scroll through your specific ads over here. And let's try to go ahead and tap on boost post and see if we have the option to add a WhatsApp button. In this case, we can only basically uh, view right here. Let's go ahead and accept the terms and conditions real quick. And then let's go ahead and try to locate if we have an option to, well, have the WhatsApp button. We actually have this option called get more messages. So we could actually show our ad to people who are likely to send you a message on Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp. So let's choose that option. And then what we need to do next is to go ahead and remove the messenger. Let's uncheck that real quick. And well, let's choose WhatsApp. So in this case, we want to go ahead and connect our WhatsApp application first. So let's go ahead and tap on connect real quick. And once that is already done, go ahead and enter your preferred mobile number, which is associated with your WhatsApp application tap on connect and tap on well proceed with the on-screen settings in this case you need to download whatsapp business to proceed with this so once you already have that downloaded on your device you can actually go ahead and use your whatsapp number with this of course right here basically we do need to enter a valid whatsapp number so go ahead and launch the whatsapp business app and create your account already on here or if you already have an account on here go ahead and just log in real quick in this case i'm going to choose the number that i'm going to go ahead and associate with this specific account and i'm going to go ahead and enter the two-step verification pin go ahead and enter the pin right here and once that is done of course it's basically going to transfer your information in this case i already have an account already linked to that number i'm going to go ahead and select a business category uh, which is associated with uh, my specific category tap on next once you're done and then we could actually you know, go ahead and launch the Facebook application once more and then proceed with entering a valid WhatsApp number. So go ahead and enter the number real quick, tap on connect. And once you're done, all we need to do is enter the code that is going to be sent to our number. And then we could actually now use the WhatsApp application from here to, of course, add the specific WhatsApp button on our Facebook page so that people could go ahead and contact us through WhatsApp using this boost post option. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video and subscribe as well. If you guys learned something, take care. This is Web Wizard.